Happy Friday, Scott here. Um, earlier this week, there was a picture post of me and Hadassah online, and uh, I was prepping a sermon, and she was sitting right here with me prepping a sermon as well. And it's one of those things where it, it's not a rare sight. Like Hadassah actually is in my office often, and uh, she uh, she gets to play and she gets to hang out with me, and while I do what whatever I do, so there's actually. Um, times when I, I'm just reading and so I set her up in here with uh, a phone and she watches uh, PBS Kids or, or something like that while I read and study and I, I do my thing just so that she can be with me and around me and so she can see that dad's uh, studying. Um, oftentimes we, we read the Bible together. She lasts like three or four minutes but um, you know we've been doing Advent and and all this kind of stuff and we've been doing a, a lot of really cool things with Hadassah and, and really um, being Hadassah's dad but also being a pastor to Hadassah and then uh, with me and Mo as well like uh, uh, when we're, whenever we post pictures it's always happy and whenever we um, portray our online you know life it's just we're just happy and joyous and and part of the reason for that is is because we don't take uh, pictures of, of when we fight or when we fail uh, usually we're too busy uh, talking at those moments or when I'm uh, yelling at Hadassah to get out of my office we generally don't take pictures of that or take videos of that and post it online and um, I was talking with a friend recently who had posted a picture on uh, on his website or on Facebook or something, and he had said uh, he had said it was like him and his wife, and they were having a nice glass of wine, and just uh, and it seemed like the world was just awesome and everybody was happy. But the truth is, behind the scenes, is that they were really struggling, and there there was a lot of uh, uh, turmoil in their family, and they were just actually getting away to have a breath of fresh air and reconnect. Uh, but but the way that the social world looked at it. It, it was just as if they were just having a great time. And it reminded me of the gospel, to be honest, that um, oftentimes we like to work out our own salvation. We like to work out our perfection that we think that we have. Uh, we like to think that um, uh, it somehow has to do with our works and our motivation and our uh, success in something to earn our own salvation and and the truth is is that jesus lived a perfect life and died a death for us for our sin and then rose again uh to conquer satan's sin and death for us and i think it's well it, i know it's because he knew that we couldn't do it he knew that we couldn't be perfect he knew that there would be moments when i, I was i was being a good dad and hadassah was here and I was loving her, and we were doing a sermon together. He knew that there would be moments where I'd be a good husband, and, and uh, he knew that there would be moments when, like, my friend was just out with his wife, and it was just perfect. Um, but he also knew that there were moments when, you know, uh, moments before my friend was having wine, they were just in tears and in turmoil. Uh, moments before, uh, you know, a picture is taken about how something is so sweet that there was just failure on my part as a dad or as a husband and and the gospel comes into that Jesus knows that we didn't we don't do things perfectly he knows that we fail he knows that we're at times miserable failures and he says now uh, while we were still sinners Christ died for us and so in the midst of that Christ died uh, for us and if you're a theological you know you believe if Jesus died for you in those moments. It's not just when you're successful and, and on Sunday mornings when you're raising your hands and worship and you're feeling good. It's actually in the, the mundane moments of life, the day in, day out, the joys, the sorrows, the, the big fights, the small fights, the, the big wins, the small uh, little steps forward. Uh, Jesus is there through it all. And uh, that's what I wanted to leave you with is that, um, if you fail this holiday season, remember that Jesus, uh, knew that you would and took care of it for us ahead of time. See you next Friday.